Yes. <laughs> Enough of that, enough of that. So guys, I grew up playing rugby, and mm -hmm. I was always told that rugby is a, is a white sport. But what, is it, what does that really have to do with where we are right now? We're in the Eastern Cape, in a small little town, rural town, called Alice. Not in Wonderland. No, no. I see what you did there. That's really good. Alice is this small town, which apparently is like rugby crazy, and it's entirely uh, black. I am so... In the Eastern Cape? Never! Right? And I'm really sick of hearing how transformation is kind of ruining rugby in the country. But here apparently is a good place to understand how transformation can really benefit rugby. And so I guess let's get investigating. Let's go! See you at the game later! We'll Cheers! The funny thing about this whole Alice thing is Everyone here is like wearing a rugby t-shirt. It's incredible. Oh, oh, oh. That's a bumpy road. Yeah. Crazy, we have rugby crazy. And uh, everyone that we've met here, that we've spoken to, is going to the game tonight. Definitely. And they say it's huge, like it's huge. And the guy said soccer, mm, mm -mm. not so much. Rugby, it's huge. It's the place to be like Wakanda. <laughs> no, you can't put that in. <laughs> grabbing some meat because apparently out the back is where we go bry and it's like a big deal like game day everyone just comes together and has these huge fries and that's what I'm slowly but surely realizing is that it's not just about rugby it's about bringing the community together and like having just a big celebration rugby is a good excuse to have a celebration Charles, thank you for the food, bro. Thank you for showing us around here. Cheers, eh? Can you hear that music? Six and a half hours before the game starts, music's pumping. That is from the rugby stadium here at Fort Hare. Fort Hare is a big time historical university in South Africa because of... Nelson Mandela was here, Tutu was here. And amongst other great people. We gotta kinda get our facts straight over there. I we? think we have to Google it. Well guys, the game's in six hours, and to be honest, I'm not in any mood to wait around, so... Let's get this party started. Thanks, Chef. That's a lot better. <laughs> Full tape, baby! The national anthem just played and things just escalated. Full tape now, baby! tell you that was just an experience and a half rugby is in such good hands at grassroots if we can get these players through the ranks 
to actually play this such talent. It's fast, it's New Zealand-like, it's unbelievable. Transformation is not a hindrance. It it can be a benefit to rugby. Definitely. Like a massive There's benefit incredible to talent. Rugby. There's incredible talent that's unseen. Like I would love to see people here looking at the talent, scouting people. It's unbelievable. It's great to see. Uh, I would do it again. Yes. I've been to Newlands many times. So have I. I got kicked out. We move him now, drive out of the stadium. But I got back in again. And I'm back in! I've watched rugby at Newlands and this feels like Newlands times 50. <laughs> it's insane. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. Um, I'm on a mission to understand uh, my country better. And uh, if you enjoyed it, uh, go smash a like at my page above and share this video. I'm gonna tag Seven there, go to his Facebook page and like him as well. And thanks for watching, guys.